Hello again and welcome to this Boeing 737 video tutorials and this uh, video will be going over the steep turns a maneuver that you'll be doing in your uh, initial and your current training in the simulator so usually after you depart from the runway and do uh, a couple of maneuvers the uh, instructor will ask you to climb to 10,000 and maintain a speed of 250 to do steep turns so uh, we go here level change open the window 250 and then he might assign it to go to a heading so let's assume uh, the heading was 270 so 270 set and heading select and then the instructor will uh, tell you okay uh, let's do steep turns now the uh, first thing that you need to do is let the autopilot and auto throttle stabilize before you do anything and in the meantime you can brief the uh, other pilot for example to call for you 30 20 10 degrees to roll out uh, another setup that i like is to go on the nd here and put it on the vr and center and then set my course to the heading that was given by the uh, instructor or the opposite one so i'll go 090 here and that will give me uh, just a visual picture of how far i am in the uh, in the steep turn or if I am pilot monitoring then it would make it easier for me to call 30, 20, 10 usually you'll do 180 degrees to the right or to the left and then 180 degrees on the other side so now for the power and the attitude regarding the power uh, many instructors will say go 10% add 10% to whatever uh, the auto throttle is using to maintain the altitude and speed so for example here we are cruising at uh, we are using 67% in one now so 10% of that is another 6% or 7% which will end up with uh, 73% uh, me personally I think that's a little bit too much so what I do usually is I start with 71% in one as I enter the uh, steep turn and the other thing is the pitch attitude using the airplane symbol here the box take a mental picture of the uh, attitude that the autobot is using now to maintain a level flight which is almost 2.5 degrees and you need to move this box halfway up so now the uh, it is right on the middle of 2.5 degrees So if you make the box between 2.5 and 5 degrees, that should maintain your uh, altitude as you do your steep turn. For the correction, a movement of by half of the box either up or down will give you a vertical speed of less than 500 uh, feet per minute, which is perfect for a correction for the steep turn. And when you uh, are done with both uh, steep turns on both sides, then as you return back to a level flight return the uh, airplane symbol to the uh, same pitch attitude which is the uh, 2.5 degrees here pitch up and then take the power out and you should ideally return back to the uh, speed and altitude uh, the last time I did the recurrent training the uh, pitch attitude was in this uh, 5 degrees pitch up so when I did my steep turn, I had this airplane symbol between the 5 and the 7.5 and then the correction was just going up by half, uh, half of the box or low or uh, below so now the autopilot and the auto throttle have settled in go ahead and switch your flight directors off auto throttle off and then autopilot off ok so I'm gonna add some power usually in the simulator I'll add the power as I turn so I'm gonna go 71 or so here and I'll start my turn and as I turn I'm gonna try to pitch up slightly to be between the 2.5 and the 5 degrees pitch up Bank angle. 
Bank angle. And Bank as angle. you can see here, if I go just on the five degrees, I'm climbing at less than 500 feet per minute. So I'm 20 feet below now, going up. Okay, so I'm climbing now, returning back to the 5 degrees or below between 5 and 2.5. So I'm going to keep it here on the 5 degrees bit sharp. And then 30, 20. I start my turn usually uh, roll out at 10 degrees. So 10 degrees trying to maintain the same pitch. And Go in the other direction. Bank 120 angle. feet above. Bank I'm going to correct for that. Okay, so I'm going to turn back to the 5 degrees bit shot. And as you can see now, I'm almost at 10,000 level. I need to increase my bank. And my speed is perfect actually. It's almost 250, so I'm going to need to bit up a bit. And the whole exercise is a scan, actually. Alright, so angle. we're Bank coming angle. up on the rollout now. So I'm 20 feet below. Alright, 20, 10, and rolling back. So I'm going to turn back to 2.5 degrees bit sharp. Adjust my pitch to regain the altitude that I lost. Alright, back on 10,000, and then take the power out. I'll turn back to 68 or 67. Okay, and once you have it almost back on, everything is good. Re engage the automation. So, flight director is on. And you can ask the other pilot to do that for you while you are controlling the airplane, auto throttle on. Level change, hitting select, and then command. So that's it for the steep turn. Um, as I said, usually a 71% in one is a good uh, part to start with. And for the uh, pitch, use this box and try to lock it to whatever will give you a level flight, and then adjust it by half movement only either up or down depending on the way you want to correct and that will give you less than 500 feet per minute uh, some people uh, they like to use the uh, flight path vector but I think the, uh, the airplane symbol give better control over the uh, uh, the altitude and remember a small adjustment so your airspeed will not fluctuate much and uh, that's it hopefully that this uh, video will be of some benefit to you in your training so uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or uh, if you have any other technique for doing a steep turns, please let me know. Thank you for watching.